Hey guys, Darcy here, and uh, I want to do a series of tips and tricks for Luna. Um, it's 2021, we're going to try to do a lot of them. The reason being is I've been using Luna for almost a year now. It came out about April 2020. I've loved it. I've converted full time, even though that there are things that's missing like sidechain at this point, but I still love it. And uh, it has a sound and a workflow that just works for me perfectly. So uh, for those people who still want to trial it or maybe want to convert, I want to give tips and tricks, um, little things that I do every single day that are beneficial. Uh, these are going to be quick videos. They may be things that, that, that you've seen, but um, some of them might be just like how I use it or maybe they're things that you've overlooked. Anyways, let's jump into the first one. Today we're going to look at versions and takes, which are really just another variation of versions. So. If you see here on my track, there's it says versions right here. If I click this little uh, icon, it brings out the tray or closes the tray by default. When you open a new session, it's closed. So I click to open this, you'll see that I'm on version one and it gives it a label of version one, right? Or V1. We can name this whatever we want. So let's call this recording because it's what we're going to do. Okay. So you have, I have a mic chain up here. And so let's just hit a quick recording. The track is armed and we can click arm for recording and hit play or we can do command spacebar so this is my first recording the original recording the best recording this is the first take okay so then we got that recorded I gotta trim that a little um, so we can listen to that back but you already heard it so we don't need to do that so now we can take this version and we can do different things with it. We can either create a new version, which would be a blank. So like this, and I'll call that blank as a reminder. We can duplicate it. So it just literally does exactly what you think. We could edit its title, which what we can double also do. You see me by just double clicking. And then we can also hit delete the version. Now, the benefit, uh, as you expect with any versioning software, is that with each version, you can make different changes. So in this last one, I could, you know, cut some silences in some, some places, you know, and then I go back to my original and everything stays the way that it is, right? Um, so we can make those kinds of changes, standard stuff. Now, some people... Um, you know, we like to record in a looping like fashion, you know, we like to uh, be creative and come with up with ideas. And we don't want to have to stop re record, stop record, stop record. So let's create a new version. Let's call this one loop. Okay, I'm gonna make this track a little bigger. Just want to see it a bit more. If we go up here, and we see this highlighted section for a loop we click on it it makes this blue looping area we can make this as big or small as we want let's loop one bar and hit play so you can see it go in a loop so it'll come back and you'll keep doing that so let's do a two bar loop if i can actually get my cursor to stay in the right spot and we're going to record and while we're recording it's going to just create new versions that it's going to label with a T for take. So let's hit, uh, let's jump right into it. So this is my first take within the loop. And this is my second take within the loop. And you'll notice that it's just kind of replacing the other one. So now it's created off of the loop. It kind of takes the last recording you did and makes that the version, but then it shows you each one of your other takes, right? So the, you can see that the last take, so I'm gonna call these take one, take two, and take three. And you can label them however you want, obviously. But the last one, the loop and the take three are the same. Take two and take one are different. If I also record uh, on top of this and I kind of finish halfway through, let's see what happens then. So now we're doing our fourth take and we're going to do our fifth take. Okay. So for that last one wasn't long enough to keep apparently. But let's try this again. We're going to do this halfway through. Okay. So now you'll see that in the current version I'm working within, it's kind of like halfway over top of each other. And you can see that, that take nine is kind of like that. So I can also say go back on this, bring back the take that was kind of half overdone. 
and then see the new take. Things don't really get removed with Luna. Uh, when you record, things kind of always remain. As long as you have the clip there to work with, you'll be able to heal it or uh, essentially expand it back out and see the rest of it and see your different versions. So don't freak out if it looks like it's deleted part of it. But essentially, you see that you can record in some form of a looping fashion so you can stay creative and not have to worry about starting and stopping yourself, especially if you're, say, positioned away from the desk. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. You know, you can see what you can do with versioning and how you can do that in a looping fashion. And uh, if you found this helpful, like, comment, all of that. Let me know what kind of things you would like to see. Maybe there's something in a different DAW that you're like, can Luna do this? And I'll be glad to help. And I also have plenty more videos planned in this. So stay tuned. This is just the first in the series.